Hello everyone, my name is Aram and welcome back to my channel. Before the start of this video, I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who has helped me with sharing the first one. I have had such positive feedback from all of you. I had different people sharing it on different social media and I'm really thankful for all of you who have done this. If it's not your first time on this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel because it helps me to see if people actually enjoy my content and would come back for some more. Now let's get back to the video. During my childhood in Russia, we had this movie released every year during Christmas time, which was supposed to, to show that there is still magic around Christmas. It's, this movie is called Yolke. The premise of the first movie was that there was this little girl who wanted the man himself, the president of Russia. Yeah, we got props on this channel now. <laughs> to say something during his celebrational speech. The idea that was explained in the movie was that from this little girl, to this present there were only five different handshakes which meant that you only needed to get through five people to actually get the present to say something when i was a child i thought that this movie was actually great but then i thought about it again and i thought that it was actually a really interesting concept so i decided to look deeper into it what i found out is that this theory actually exists and is called six degrees of separation or the six handshake theory this theory states that any two people on Earth can be connected through six handshakes or through six connections if you want to. This theory takes its origins in the 1950s where Stanley Milgram conducted this experiment. Basically what happened was that there was this parcel that was sent to a farmer with precise instructions where he had to get this package to a student in another state, in another town. This experiment was conducted on several people and overall, on average, it took six different connections to get to the final person, to the final goal of this experiment. And now I'm trying to think about something that I have learned during my studies, which is called the network effect. The network effect is only related to companies where basically if you have more users, then your product or your service becomes more valuable. We could take the example of the internet, when there were only 10 people in the internet, it was of no use to anyone. Now that we have 4.5 billion of people on earth using the internet, it becomes a different thing where you have content, where you have people actually using it, and where you could go to any person and to talk to anyone thanks to this. And what would we think now in terms of how we could apply this to us and not to a business? So, Let's just imagine that your network is your company and the connections that you have in your network are the actual users. The bigger your network, the more valuable it is, right? And when you think about it, what does valuable network actually mean? And now let's think about what I explained just before, the six handshake connection. If you can shorten these six handshakes, then your chances of getting to this person actually increase because you don't have all these intermediaries in between, right? If your network gets bigger, it gets more valuable and then we actually shorten this six degrees of separation, making it only two or three. And now let's look at the modern education and think about it. How did the schools and universities actually apply this concept in their educational models? And now let's take the example of the highest rated universities in the world that everyone talks about. You know Oxford, you know Stanford, you know all of these universities. You know them because people who get out of these universities are guaranteed to have a great job or a great position directly when they get out of their studies. So where does it bring us? The first day at the deck they gave us two things. They gave us this bag, but most importantly they gave us this. It's called the Alumni Handbook and all the alumni from a deck are included in this book. But they are not only included in this book, they are also classified by position, by geographical region, by company as well. The education is pretty much the same everywhere. You will study the same cases, the same companies and get to the same outcomes. But what is different here is that this network that you will get out of this, the people that you would actually meet and that you will actually talk to. And now let's think about the exchanges that you do during your studies that I have talked about in my previous video. During most of the studies you have a period that you have to spend abroad, which is mandatory today. But when you go on this exchange, do you feel like you're actually learning something new? Do you feel like this actually brings something to you? Most of the exchanges have a lot less classes that you actually have in your school and you have a lot of free time that you're able to spend however you want. 
you could travel, you can go to other places, you can find other activities to do. But most importantly, what they are trying to make you do is to meet other people in these different countries where you can actually increase your network, where you can actually meet these new people and make a connection with them. And do not actually come back more educated, but you come back more open-minded and you come back with more connections. So now, when you think about it, if you never left your hometown, if you never went anywhere in your life and you have always stayed in this little city where you have always lived, or how many connections would you need to connect to someone in Argentina, let's say? Our theory says six. But now let's imagine you, you went to a university where you actually had the choice to go to Argentina and where you can meet all these people. You can divide this degrees of separation by two or three or more. And then if you are looking for a job, if you're looking for a job in this particular country, you will be more likely to actually find a job there. And this is where this whole alumni network comes in and actually brings value to you thanks to your school. And this is where the universities actually show where your money goes. You don't only pay for classes or you don't only pay for tiers that give these classes to you, but you also pay to, for this network that expand and that they offer to you. Whichever school you go to, you can always find their alumni numbers everywhere. Hey, look at our alumni, look how far they got. Look at the numbers that we have with them, look at the salary that you will get when you get out of school. And by offering this network and all these connections, they actually try to short your six degrees of separation with someone or somewhere you want to go. And now if I think about my own experience, about my international experience that I have talked about in my first video, you will have the notification to go to it in your right upper corner of this video right now. I could not imagine how my network would have changed if I didn't go to these places. It would have been completely different for me. During your studies, you will have many opportunities to travel around and to meet new people. But if you decide not to develop and not to entertain your network, it will be of no value to you. Yes, you will see beautiful places, yes, you will create some memories, but you won't be able to get something out of it, actually. And now let's get a little bit back to the subject that I wanted to talk about. There are a few social media today that use this actual six degree separation. And the best example I could give is LinkedIn. If you go on LinkedIn, you can see people on how they are connected to you. On LinkedIn, you can find people up to three connections away from you. The first batch of people would be the people that you are actually linked to, that you have connected to, and then you have the two other, the connections of the connections of your connections. While I was looking into it to learn a little bit more about this theory, I have found some interesting facts as well. And this theory got actually very popular in the 1990s, where people started to play this game at different parties. The funny thing about it is that there was this one actor who appeared on TV, his name was Kevin Bacon, here is his picture, you probably know him, and once he said during an interview that he has worked with everyone in Hollywood or worked with people who work with them. After this it became a huge meme and some students decided to create a game and it's called the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. And people actually started playing this game at their parties. They, are trying, they were trying to link different people to this actor and in the less connections possible. It became a huge trend and Endless Games, who also released Trivial Pursuit, they made the six degrees of Kevin Bacon as a game that you can still purchase on Amazon today. You have this thing called the six degrees of Wikipedia. It is also called the wiki game. I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. But basically, Wikipedia offers you a game where they give you a start article and the end article. And going through the links in the first article, you have to go through different articles to get to the final one. And on average, it takes six different articles to get to the final one. You have a competition list where you can win or you can see how people got to the final result. It's very interesting, so I invite you to check this out. The link will be in the description. Finally, one day, Walt Disney said, it's a small world. But I don't think it's true. I think we live in a really, really big world. But it's up to you to make it small for you. It's up to you to make it yours. I actually think that this theory could be used for something. And if you have any ideas how we could try it out, 
just let me know in the comments. Also, if you have had any experience with it, if you want to tell your experience, please let me know in the comments, I would be glad to read about it. If you made it this far to this video, please subscribe to my channel, it shows me that people actually support my project and it means a lot. Leave a like under this video if you like the content and see you next time. Thank you for watching.